What's going on everybody? My name is Graffiti and yes, you're the to right today. I'm going to show you guys how to make your own floor is lava map and today It was uh, I'd say it would be pretty good for you guys to make your own floor is lava maps and uh, I will say this now is that the lava is not Identical to like the floor is lava maps, but it is a rising sequencer that does de that deals damage when it touches you and beyond that, uh, I would say that if you guys want me to make a new updated tutorial on the 1v1 uh, map and the Zone Wars Box Fights map, please let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, if you guys do want to enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new. And enjoy. Alright, so once you're in your creative hub, go ahead and head over to your island, put in a new map. Now I would recommend either doing the new large grid island or go back to the this island. I can't I don't know what that is, but this will be like already set up lava and like an area for your battleground. And then this you would have to make your own ground and all that stuff and lava that i'm going to show you it's just a little bit of extra work so we're going to do this one and then of course where is lava it's a messed up a it's a messed up i map messed up a again and head into it all right, and once you're in your creative map, I'm going to quickly head to galleries and go and search up floor, Tilla floor gallery. And the floor that I like to use, I don't know where it is in this one. Floor and stair gallery, here it is. It'll be in this one, down here, that one, that one. And then I like to grab the ramps over here so i'll grab this one and then you need to grab the walls as well and you can grab either this one that i recommend or grab this one or this one yeah see how it has this kind of look to it it looks really neat rusted kind of lava ish and what i'm gonna do is make a three by three spawn area a little bit just like that of course i mess it up and then from there you can do the floors make sure not to mess them up too much Kind of like how I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to do the roof. Or you know what would look better? Is if you did the dark. I did an L for some reason. And grab this one here. And just substitute that. And then from there, go ahead and go to your devices tab. And grab the player spawn pad pop that in here and we'll go through the settings really quickly it's not that difficult all you want to make them is so that it says enable during phase create only party to group none use item start yes visible in games it doesn't really matter how you have that because you're not going to spawn here when the game starts and you can just copy that i'm going to have six spawn pads make it so that about everybody can spawn in here. And yeah, this will be your pre-game start. And then we're going to go through the settings really quickly. So game settings, voice chat, I like to have it on all so you can talk to everybody. And for max players, I'm going to have this set to 20. So we have a good amount of people. Teams free for all, team size dynamic. You know, I have that on one. Default class identifier, none, revert to 
spawn limit one FOS spawn for the spectator total rounds I'm gonna have this 10 rounds team mutation disabled time limit I'm gonna have this set to four minutes as time wins disabled ultimate win condition I'm gonna have that set to most rounds wins and then last any ends game make sure that is on join in progress you can have that on either you know, either spawn on next round or spectate i'm gonna have it on spawn on next round so that way a good amount of people get to play spawn location spawn pads game start countdown i'm gonna have this three seconds it doesn't really matter and auto start i'm gonna have this to 30 seconds as well Vehicle trick scroll multiplier. If you will add, if you do add vehicles, make sure this is at zero. And then elimination score, I'm gonna have this set to three. Assist score, one. And then the settings over here. Starting shields, 100. Infinite ammo off, infinite resources off. Maximum building resources, this is kind of up to you. I'm gonna go with 999 because we are gonna be building up and there's not gonna be much land. So it'll be mostly builds. Harvest style, Battle Royale, and then building can destroy environment, no, environment, or you can have that yes or no, that's just kind of if like if a person places a build, their own build where something is already placed like a prop or something, then it will destroy if that person places their build, so I'm going to have this set to no, so that way it doesn't destroy it, environmental damage, have this set to player built only, structure damage, enemy and self built. Eliminated players items drop. And then respawn time, three seconds. Spawn immunity time, none. All damage on, gravity normal, jump fatigue. You can have that on and off, doesn't really matter. Fighter redeploy off because it is kind of going to be like a zone wars. And then health brand and on elimination, I'm going to have that set to 50. And then I'm going to have wood and stone and metal set to 30. So like every kill they get, they will get 30 extra mats added on to whatever they have at the time. And then UI, this will be pretty quick, but if you guys want to follow along, you can. So this will be the round winner. And score display time it'll be three seconds and then game winner and display time five seconds auto info type have that set to none you don't really need that and then scoreboard win condition here have that set to score and then scoreboard tiebreaker for one elimination scoreboard for tiebreaker two assists and then uh king of well i think we'll be doing the victory call out and then you die to the lava will be a defeat call out and that's going to be all the settings so we'll go ahead and start with the building of this so go ahead and head to the middle where all the big lava is as you can see this was our spawn area pre-game spawn and we're gonna set up the arena really quickly and then we'll set up the uh, kind of where you would start before you would head to this big arena here. So once again, you can have already your Fortilla things. And I'm gonna go to the middle, which is right there. And you see all these particle things. If you wanna delete those, you can. I'm not going to because it looks extremely cool. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a three by three floor area and then i'm going to add ramps here and then the one floor here and this is going to be where a launch pad is there'll be a bit of movement if they come to the center and they want to move to somewhere else somewhere else and get a kill or something you can come to the middle launch pad away and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place a floor and really quickly go back to your galleries, find the floor Fortilla, find the wall gallery, and you want to use this one. Let me see if there's a better one. 
that one or yeah it'll be that one go ahead and place that in your inventory and then you're gonna make it three high or no two high and then what you can do is just copy there and there and that's really all you're gonna need and then what you can do is just select all of it and copy it 20 times because we have 20 players that are going to be spawning so from here i'm going to go to my map and i'm going to place it let's see if it's there i'm going to place one there and i'm going to place 5 10 15 20 all the way there so it's going to be five here five there five there and five there All right, and after you've set up 20 of yours, we're going to leave it like that, and we're going to go set up our uh, game kind of start area, which will be right here. So once again, you want to set it up as big as many players as you can. So for mine, it'll be a 5x5, five 5x4, five, five by sorry. Alrighty, and once you are done with that, call it your player spawn pad again, and we'll go through the settings. So enable during phase, gameplay only, team any, priority group none, use the island start, no, visible during games, no. And then when player spawn, transmit on, go ahead and go all the way up to 100. And then from there, copy it over. And then the only setting you want to change, so you can go to your modified options tab. The only thing you want to change is one player spawn transmit on 101. And then just keep adding. So then the next one would be channel 102, channel 103, and so on and so forth.
All right, and once you are done with that, your last player spawn pad should have the channel 119. And then from there, go back to your devices tab and you wanna find the barrier device. Place that in your inventory, go to it, and then we are going to go through the settings really quickly. So barrier style, invisible, enabling phase, all, block weapon fire, yes, zone shape, box hollow, make sure that it's box hollow, barrier width, one, barrier depth, one berry height one and then that's all you need to change and then what you might want to do is change the rotation so that way it is like this and we are actually going to put it on the ceiling right there and then the settings will be the same for all of them but you also want to place it above every single one of your player spawn pads All right, and once you are done with that, we are done with our kind of start game area. And then from there, we are gonna go back to our spawn areas and we're gonna grab the berry device and we're also gonna grab the teleporter device. So go ahead and place down barrier device and the berry style again. Here, we'll make it translucent this time Enable during phase all. Lock weapon fire, yes. Zone shape box hollow, make sure that it's box hollow. Barrier width, three. Barrier depth, three. And barrier height, three. And then disable when we're seeing from 250. Actually, let's make it, since we didn't use channel 120, we'll go ahead and make it channel 120. So disable when we're seeing from channel 120. And then move it down to the second layer and then so the player will spawn from there and they are going to teleport here so that's the next thing grab your teleporter make sure your grid snap is at four actually so that way they don't spawn and just like fall a meter teleporter group none Tele teleporter target group none Never during phase all, team all, change teleporter rift never, teleporter rift visible no, 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 conserve momentum no, base player and teleporter, target direction no, uh, effect radius off, skydive after teleport no, and then teleport to when we're seeing from, go to your channel 100. Perfect. So that means when you spawn there, the person who has channel 100 will then teleport directly here. And then it'll be the same thing. So you can go ahead and select one and select the other, and then you can just copy it and move it to all, or actually go back. So that you still have it selected, select the floor as well. So that way it doesn't change the grid snap. So then, just change the one thing. So go to your channels and then teleport to where we're seeing from channel 101. And then once again, select three things. So select the rift, select the floor, and select the barrier device. Copy. And we're gonna go to our next thing and place it there. And then once again, channel 102. And then you're gonna do that for all of them, just bumping it up by one. So that way a different player spawns there. So select.
All right, and then you should be all done with your spawn pads. As you can see, all of them have the barrier and rift inside of it. And then again, this was my last rift, so that's gonna be 119, channel 119. So let me go ahead and start it for you guys really quickly, just to show you guys that the rifts do work. And as you can see, they did not work. <laughs> So I do spawn in the pre-game, but the problem is here is that for here, it seems enable during phase, gameplay only, none, use item start. Okay, so that's going to be the settings that you want to change. And then you automatically spawn here. As you can see, I don't have any mats yet, but we'll fix that in a minute. So go back to your game start. And all you want to do is change the gameplay only to all. Still have use on start as no. I'm going to change this back. You don't need to have it on primary at all. But the only settings you want to change is that from it saying gameplay, you want to have it say all. Alright, and once you're done with that, I'm going to quickly start the game again to show you guys. And I spawn in here this time, and I automatically teleport. So, blam. Alright, and from there, since we have all our stuff set up, we are then going to set up one more thing, or a few more things here. Go ahead and open up your devices tab one more time, and you want to find the timed objective, and that's what you want to place here. So open up that. Start when round starts. Yes. Time, 10 seconds. Actually, go ahead and set it to 15 because the extra sec... Or, I guess you can have it on. 10 or 15, depending on how long you want it to be. I'm going to have it set to 10. Time label. Uh, game or... Round start in. And then it'll say the 10 seconds right next to it and then extra large visible during games no count on visible during hud yes and then when completed when completed transmit on channel 2 or 120 right channel 120 so that means it'll go the 10 seconds and then after it's done with the 10 seconds all the barrier devices will be disabled so meaning that they'll go away <laughs> yeah all right and from here we're gonna go over here behind the map and we're gonna place a few floors of metal And then this is going to be where our, they get their weapons from. So go ahead and open up your devices tab and find the item ranter. And then also you want to find the where is it, where is it, where is it? trigger device. And you also want to find the sequencer, which is going to be down here. So go ahead and place your sequencer down there. You can set the looping to none, tempo, 
like to have this as quick as possible so, so that they receive it as quick as possible. 180 length, you know, set to normal, done direction forward, done visible names. So we're gonna have that set to yes so that way I can test it. Damage level none, activate on game phase, none, and then start sequence when receiving from channel 250. All right. And then we're gonna go ahead and place down our triggers. We're gonna go through the settings first. And the only settings you're gonna really wanna change is times can trigger infinite transmit on every X triggers. Uh, keep that on one. Trigger sound, trigger VFX, turn those off. Visible during games, yes. Because we are gonna test it. Enabled on game start, yes. And then when triggered, transmit on channel 140 that's when it that's what or you know what we're, we're gonna go up to channel 200 channel 200 and then you're gonna rotate it and then you're gonna rotate it so that way it's standing up like that make sure your grid snap this time you want to change it to grid snap eight so then it's in the middle and then we're gonna move it back was that yeah move it back one and then the only thing you want to change is one trigger transmit on channel 201 and then channel 202 channel 203 channel 204 and channel 205 so as you can see we have six lined up here And actually, we're gonna change this from 250 to start. Activate on game phase, game start. So that means when the game starts, this is gonna go. And then uh, people are gonna receive this. So, you know, we'll have a delay to it. So we'll have a delay of one second. Delay of one second. Delay of one second. So on and so forth. And blam. All right, and now pull out your item granters. We're going to go through the settings. So enabled on game start. Yes. Receiving player, triggering player. On grant action. Keep all. Grant. Current items. Grant condition. Always. Grant on cycle. Yes. Uh, give extra ammo. This is up to you. I prefer no. Cycle behavior. Wrap. And then cycle to random item room soon from channel one. And then we're going to copy that. And then the only setting you're going to want to change is channel 2. And then uh, once again, channel 3. Or you can actually get this. Channel 3. And then channel 4. Channel 5. And if you need to add like one more thing here. Channel 6. And then the one more thing that we're going to change here is grant all items. And actually, we're going to change the channel from cycle to random item. We're going to bring it to grant item when we're seeing from channel 6. And that's going to be the things. And then from here, you can drop any weapons you want. I'm going to drop certain items. So your first one could be ARs. Uh, you can place whatever weapon into whatever one. But that's the inventory that they're going to receive it in. Except it is going to be random loot. So weapons... I'm going to drop my ARs. So this is going to be for the season. So, so rifle, AK, burst, pulse rifle. And those are all the AR, ARs for this season. And then you can add the different rarities as well.
Then this one is going to be where all of your mats and ammo are. So go back to your consumables, go all the way to the top, and you'll find your mats. You can click your wood twice, metal, and then I'm going to have the ammo shells. Click them three times, except for the sniper. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And I'm going to have two rockets added. So that means the player will have one rocket and they'll have two. So I have three rockets in total. And as you can see, we have all the mats here, but they don't get those. And also to give them a bit of mobility, if you want, go back to your devices. And I'm going to add the launch pad and three bouncers. So three bouncers and one launch pad. And so then when the game starts, this will go trigger all of these and we'll set up the mutator zones right now actually. And then they'll receive random loadouts from all the stuff that we've just added here. And then we'll move on to the rising lava. That will be really fun. So go back to the middle. Actually, let's firstly set up the storm. So find the I'm going to have it as the basic storm control beacon. Place it down. Channels are pretty simple. Generate storm on game start. Yes, initial radius. 300 and radius zero. Wait time, uh, one minute. Resize time, three minutes. Actually, wait time, 30 seconds. Resize time, three uh, minutes. And then delay time, none. Damage, have that set to seven. If you want, you can add more. And then move direction, rotation, random. You can have that set to random. Move time, one minute, doesn't really matter. Yeah, as you can see, if you need to make it bigger, right now it's pretty big. I might actually want to make it smaller. So that's 300 and then to 200. Is that big enough? Yes, that is plenty big. As you can see, it is not out here. Is it over here? No. As you can see, it cuts off right there. All right, and then we'll set up the mutator zones from the middle. I'm going to quickly make wood all the way up to max height. We I'm gonna cut off this last one. I'm gonna place a floor here. And then you're gonna grab the mutator device, which I'm very glad they added right here. So go ahead and place it down. Allow weapon fire, yes. Zone visible during aims, no. Zone width. 100 zone depth, 100 and zone height, 100 enable during phase, gameplay only, and then grab your normal. Uh, enable when receiving from channel 200. 200. And then on player entering zone, transmit on channel 1. Now let me quickly see because I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, okay, so they removed the uh, game start one. So then what you want to do is rotate it so that it's facing downward, like that. And all you can really do is this, and then what you can do is copy it. And then the only settings you want to change is enable and receive from channel 201, and on player entering zone, transmit on channel 2. And then you want to make six of those. So this will be... 202 and channel 3. Ah, so fun. Channel 203, channel 4, and then 204, channel 5, and then channel 5, and channel 6. And then you can delete the walls. And you might want to check, yes, it is covering all of this. As you can see, we're going to delete this wood really quickly. And then we are almost done. Don't worry. That'll go away in a minute. But 
this is where it's gonna get a bit difficult. Just go down to where your lava is. And you just want to go from there. Place a floor. And then you want to go to the right until you are free from everything. So right there. And just move it to the right a little bit like that. And then from here, we are going to grab three sequencers, actually four. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to have them all going that way. Two, three. And don't worry, we'll place the third one in a minute. Here, actually, we're going to delete this one. And place it over here. So the settings for this one, here, we'll start this way and then we'll work our way. So looping none, tempo, you want to find a good tempo. So length, or we'll keep it at that for now. Width, 100 height, 100 zone direction. Uh, sun pulse, zone visible during games, yes. Active went pause, pulse direction. Damage level, we're going to have this set to low. Activate on game phase, none. And then send player information, no. And then we'll set up the trigger in a second. So as you can see, it is gone and it will rise like that. Right? And you want to find a good tempo so that way it doesn't rise too fast. So from here, you might want to go down to. 30 and I think that should be good enough no it is still too fast you might want to set it to 8 now that is too slow so I would say the right amount would be 12 10 seems like the perfect pace. So, the pace will be 10. Oh, and also I wanna change one more thing here. And that is gonna be the length. It's going to be 100. So height, width, and length 100. So as you can see, it should cover our whole arena here. As you can see, there's no blue lines here. Right, 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 right. And then it should, yes. Over here, as you can see, there's one line right here. This is our zone. That's gonna be our sequencer. So as you can see, it covers it all. And then you wanna do about the same thing, except we're gonna up the damage level. So come back down here. So change the tempo to 10 length 100 width 100 height 100 zone direction forward uh zone visible during games yes and then pulse direction up damage level we're going to have this set to high medium yeah high and that's going to be that as you can see you cannot see it except for this one right here. Yes. Yep, and then they rise. And then here, tempo 10, length 100, width 100, height 100. Zone direction, zone visible games, yes direction up damage level we're gonna have this set to elimination so there's gonna be three the first one's gonna be a bit of low damage i i think it's like 30 damage and i think the next one is like 70 damage then this one is gonna eliminate you so don't let that third one touch you and then that's that and then we're gonna have it so 30 seconds 
we're gonna have a trigger. Yeah. So we're gonna have that set there. And then we're gonna have this quickly trigger by player off, trigger by damage off, off, then trigger by vehicles off. And then trigger by singles. Make sure this is on. Time to can trigger infinite and then delay zero second. None. And then trigger sound trigger fee of X off. Visible in games, yes. Enabled on game start, yes. And then when triggered, transmit on channel 250. Is that right? I'm not sure if we use it at 250 yet. We use it 250. No, we're not using 250. So when that trigger is triggered, it will send a signal. And we're going to go back up here, actually. And we're going to set up a HUD message device, which will be right here. Place it on down. And then show when we're seeing from channel 250. Message the lava is. Actually, I might as well capitalize all of it. The lava. Message recipients all time from round start. Off display time 10 seconds. Textile. Extra large message priority critical place sound message placement top center visible games no that's gonna be that so when it triggers that trigger it's gonna send a signal here and then it'll say the lava is rising of course and then we're gonna go back down here we're gonna move over a few I would suggest let's see one two one two three four we're gonna do five for now. And we're gonna send a. We're gonna place a sequencer. This is where the fourth sequencer comes in. And actually, I learned a thing. So, move it over one. And then place your sequencer here. And then change the length to I'd say it's ten now, or twelve. Tempo is still gonna be. Six, keeping none, gun direction forward. Activate on game phase, game start. And then I'm gonna up this to here so that way it has time to warn everybody that the lava is rising. Oh, and then you wanna change the width here to two. So that way it's just partially in this. And then I'm pretty sure it like damaged me a lot for this first one. Damage level low. It should have been low. So I'm pretty sure if you have that problem, you might want to delete it. Or no, I deleted the wrong one. There it was. Length. With height, gun direction, yeah, great shot. Yep. Up, damage level, low still. And then, yeah. And I'm gonna delete this last one actually. And I'm gonna change this one to elimination. I'm actually they're gonna change this one to medium so you get damaged medium and then you get eliminated just like that and then if you head back over here i think i uh needed to add like a thing here so i'm pretty sure to... and then start sequence from seeing from channel you got a channel 249 Right? And then we're gonna go back. Here. And let me add a thing. So it'll go off. Uh, I'm gonna timer thing. 
go ahead and go over here back. I'll place these things. And then the settings for this is duration. I'm gonna have it down to three seconds. Auto start one, count direction down. Repeat once, yes. Show trigger, no. Looping, alarm audio, off volume, pretty low. Score value zero. Start when we're seeing from, and then, or nothing there. And then when completed, transmit on channel 249. So you got three seconds and then it'll send the trigger. You'll get uh, the sequencer and then you'll get all the triggers enabled. You'll enable that and then blam. I think this should work now. Game start, round one. It looks like I got more loot than I should have. Okay, let me just show you that the uh, lava rises. As you can see, you cannot shoot that out. That's what I like. Got three minutes. The zone shrinks in. It'll say the lava is rising. Lava starts rising. As you can see, I get damaged. I should have got damage there. I don't know why that didn't happen. There's my loadout. Didn't glitch that time. I got meat. I got a real gun. I got a Camaro ray gun. And as you can see, I got the bounces in the launch pad as well. for this map as well. All right, let's try this now. It kills me somehow. I don't know why it kills me right away. That is all you might want to need. So if you want to add this last thing, it's pretty difficult, I would say. But if you want to go, I would come along with me. So here, we're gonna have a barrier set up here. So grab your barrier device, and then you also wanna keep your trigger. So the barrier device is there. And then what you can do is also, there and then barrier style have this set to red force field and then enable during phase none block weapon fire yes zone shape box barrier width uh 100 is that right yes and then barrier height 100 and then enable when we're seeing from, we're gonna go up to, we'll see how many you need, but go up to channel seven for right now. Seven. And then from there, add a floor above it. And then add your trigger. right there so I'm pretty sure right here 
to make sure we've reached that zat two. And then trigger by player off, trigger by damage off, trigger by items off, trigger by vehicles off, trigger by sequencers on. And then times can trigger infinite delay. None. Trigger sound and trigger VFX off. Visible on games. Yes, might as well. And then enabled on game start. Yes. And then when triggered, transmit on channel seven. So the sequencer will go. And then as soon as it hits this trigger, this barrier will uh, enable. And then what you want to do from there, so we might actually want to check really quickly. Does it cover this whole arena? It does a majority of the way. I don't know why you would build over this, over there. Because that's the zone is shrinking from there. All right. And then from there, this is where it gets a bit difficult. Is that you, the reason for this is so that way when you're building up, if you have a build placed down here and a player decides to shoot it, they cannot shoot it out because it is in the barrier. Let me actually change that. So it'll be down there. And then you'll be building up. And then the lava will be rising at the same time. And if it hits the trigger, it'll enable the barrier. And it, you cannot shoot this build out anymore. And it'll continuously do that until you get up. Now the hard part about this is that you have to go to about max height. So what I would recommend is now because we have the barriers here that we can like do that stuff. The only thing that you need to change is uh, the channels, which is channel eight. And then you want to move this up by two and have it change to channel eight. That's going to be the only thing. And you want to just keep going from there. Like that. Let me see some. Yeah, it's fine. And then you want to just keep going up. If you want, you can like build up to max height if you really need, just to show you how much you need to put. So you need to put it up to there. So the last trigger will be there. Or no, it'll be there. So that means you'll be fighting on this last trigger. You know what? I'll put it down here. So the last trigger will be right there. So that way you have like this much space to kind of lay out here. And then the zone should shrink by the end. So if you want, you can do that. Uh, I'm not going to do it, but you guys know what to do. So you just keep going up, adding the barriers and such until you reach the top. I don't have the time to do it right now, but I'll show you guys how this works really quickly. So start game. Spawn in weapons automatically. You can build and do whatever you want. Lamb, you get spawned in, zone, all that crap. <laughs> yeah box up there if you want. You got the HUD, win, score, eliminations, assists. And then soon enough, it'll say, I'm pretty sure it's going to be at 25. Somewhat at 25. There it is. And then one, zero, should be any second now. There it is. Still killed me. 
I'm pretty sure that's just a glitch. You know, you you might want to just have it on automation because lava's gonna kill you. Yeah, I'm fine with that. You guys want to like get a little bit more tips on that? I'm gonna keep it as it eliminates because lava's gonna uh, lava's gonna eliminate you. So that is Flora's lava. I don't know why I can move around here. That is the Flora's lava map. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.